My, my cancer journey was very hard. It was very unexpected. I don't think anybody ever expects to get cancer. Uh, but uh, thank goodness I had a doctor that uh, gave me my colonoscopy right away. It was a routine screening colonoscopy. Uh, she wasn't having any symptoms. Um, she was just there because it was what her doctor told her to do to stay healthy. We did the colonoscopy and I, I did find a, a moderate-sized cancer in her colon. It was uh, initially devastating to her uh, because she was not prepared um, for that. She had just come in for a routine screening colonoscopy. He just kind of shook his head and, and he said, I'm sorry, Fran. And I said, it's all right, Dr. Arledge. I said, I know that we're going to get through this and I appreciate you being so nice with me and we'll just do what we have to do now. But she um, had an excellent attitude and she said that she was going to beat this. Um, and that's when we enrolled her in the three-day program. And as soon as he found out that there was a blockage, he immediately got me in for tests and all the things that I needed to do. And he was just very positive and um, scheduled me in his office for the next part. And that was the really scary part is when they had to run tests to find out if the cancer had spread too far for me to get help. We went through a series of tests, but we got the final diagnosis on a Tuesday. Uh, the next day we went in for pre-testing at the hospital. Uh, Thursday the next day, um, she went in for the operation, and it was, you know, two days from the from the time we got a fi final diagnosis, and that that part truly impressed me. And I remember the morning we came back into Dr. Arledge's office. I told my husband I would rather be run over by a truck than be sitting here in this chair this morning, <laughs> and I meant it. I didn't want to have to hear him say something bad, but he came in and he was very nice, and he said that I. I mean, it was just barely, I just barely made it under the wire to be able to have the surgery. Her stage was early, um, so we were pretty convinced of a cure uh, right after her surgery, and so she had so many positives. And they had already sent over my test and everything, and so he had this little piece of paper to kind of outline everything for me. But I mean, he was very reassuring, and he said, friend, I don't think there's going to be any problem, we'll just cut out the part this bad and so you back up and it's going to be fine. Fran Booker is a, I guess if you have a favorite patient, uh, she would be one of mine. Very uh, full of life, very vivacious, uh, well-spoken, well-educated uh, lady who um, was treated with for a relatively early stage colorectal cancer, cured, and it's just we've been basically friends ever since then. And anybody that I know that would be looking out to face some kind of surgery for anything, I would be telling them to check with their doctor at Danner. And I tell you, we have the top-notch doctors here. We're not just some little country bumpkin town. We've got the top-notch doctors here, and we do get the wonderful care here. Danner was uh, uh, really a good experience for us, given what we were going through. Uh, and not only the medical staff, but um, uh, the, the the girl at the front desk that, that checked us in, the, the people in the waiting room that, that always had coffee available. Uh, it was just a, a total good experience all around. The most important thing anybody could do for colon cancer prevention is one of the three um, screening protocols. You get a colonoscopy at age 45 and then every 10 years if negative, check the stool for blood once yearly or do a cold guard for three years. Don't put it off. Don't say, oh, uh, I'll wait for next year and see if I have another problem. Don't do that. You can't sit back in cancer and just say, oh, well, maybe I'll be all right tomorrow. Maybe it'll pass. No. If you have any question at all, go check it out. Go take, go take steps to take care of your health. You only get one life. <laughs>